What's up? This is Squad2448 with a following Senator 17 mod review. Today we'll be taking a look at some Ram trucks, a few semis, a dozer, and a snow plow. Up first we'll be taking a look at a Ram 2500 Mega Cab. This is color changeable. There is an option for snow plow on the front along with this brush guard. As you guys can see when you come around to the side it does have the tow mirrors folded out which is pretty cool. It's a Ram 2500 heavy duty with a Cummins motor underneath the hood. It does have a toolbox and headache rack here in the back, a drop hitch, and Overall, the quality of this model is awesome, and you guys can see it does have a gooseneck hitch, which is nice. And overall, this truck looks awesome. Once we hop on the inside, it goes 77 miles per hour, and there are very similar trucks to this out, which is nice. And as you guys can see, it has all working lights, reverse lights, everything like that. And then up front, you guys can see all of those headlights, which is pretty cool. On the inside view, it does have an interior view, but it's not too detailed. We'll be taking this for a spin and seeing how this truck handles all the mods can be found down below in the description and I do recommend you check all of them out. As you guys can see this does have very nice engine sounds which are pretty cool and overall the handling and turning radius of this truck is very nice and I also really do like how the headache rack does have working lights on it that is pretty cool up next we'll be taking a look at a ram 3500 dually this is color changeable two-tone paint which is nice it has a brush guard up front and there is an option for a snow plow and uh, you could change through many different license plate it does have pretty nice wheels awesome steps on it those look pretty cool and as you come around to the side it does have a toolbox and now you do have the option for the bed or a flatbed version which is nice it does have a drop hitch and dual exhaust out of the back right along with a gooseneck hitch and a very nicely done toolbox which is also an option once we hop on the inside this goes 77 miles per hour all of the lights do work on it and it does have a lock load which is pretty cool along with a few straps which do not show up but you guys can see all of these lights look awesome on the inside view it does have a pretty cool very detailed steering wheel awesome tow mirrors with working mirrors which is nice and this looks to have like a Ford inside view but it's always nice to have a very nicely done interior view we'll be taking this for spin seeing how this handles and as you guys can see very fast truck gets up pretty fast and goes and overall the turning radius isn't that bad on it but overall this is one awesome truck and I really do like all the options that you could choose from when you do purchase it up next, we'll be taking a look at an older Dodge, which is a D250. This is a power ram. It does have the turbo Cummins underneath the hood. It has very nicely done wheels, small rims, but very large tires, which is pretty cool. It does have this small brush guard up front. Really do like that a lot. Detailed headlights. As you come around to the side, this is not color changeable. It does have a headache rack and a toolbox. And then in the back, it does look like have the hitch, but no ball on it. And it does have a gooseneck hitch, which is nice. Once we hop on the inside view, this goes 51 miles per hour very nicely done I mean I really do like these older dodges these look pretty cool it does have very nice engine sounds and all the lights do work in, on it on the first person view it does have an interior review looks like it does need to be lifted and it does have a working steering wheel a little bit more detail can be done on the inside we'll take this for spin I really do like these humming diesel sounds, these look pretty cool, and overall this is one awesome truck, and I really do like how it has a little bit of a lift kit, and I would like to thank all of you guys for all of the continued support here on these weekly mod reviews, I really do enjoy showcasing other modders work in all of their hard work, and uh, these epic mods. Up next we'll be taking a look at a few semis, up first is a Freightliner day cab, this is color changeable, the frame is also color changeable, so you guys can see I do have this to dark gray with a blue cab which is nice and overall this is probably one of my new favorite semis just because of how detailed it is does have a bumper pull hitch and LED lights in the back once we hop on the inside view it goes 61 miles per hour you guys can see all of the lights do work down below which is nice reverse lights everything like that and then up front all of these lights do work looks like it does have like a pin hitch up front which is cool turn signals everything lights and all of them work. On the inside view, you guys can see working steering wheel and working mirrors. I mean, this inside view is so detailed, which is awesome. I mean, a lot of detail. Very, very high quality. We'll be taking this for a spin to see how this handles, but I really do like this day cab a lot. Awesome textures. And overall, like I was saying, one of my new favorite semis just because of how nice it is. Turning radius and body roll is good on it. Really no body roll when you do turn. And overall, the handling of this is great. 
Up next, we'll be taking a look at a cab over, which is a Volvo. You guys can see it is color changeable. There's a beacon light up top, and there's extra lights over there, which is awesome. As we come around to the side, you guys can see chrome wheels on it, the side exhaust, which is pretty cool. And overall, I mean, this thing looks awesome. Bumper pull hitch, and I really do like the cab overs in this game. Once we hop on the inside, you guys can see it does have eyes and a few other things, which is nice. And you could actually move the hitch in the back. So when you do press this, it does slide it back, which is very cool, especially when different trailers to require uh, different distances so as you guys can see all the lights do work on it when you do press the home the beacon lights work I mean this has a lot of lights a few uh, flashing lights over there in the grill which is perfect for any oversized hauling on the inside view you guys can see very nicely done it does show when you are in drive neutral or reverse I really do like that it does show your speed uh, working mirrors working steering wheel working gauges and you guys can see it really shows a lot of things the amount of braking you do the acceleration turn signals it shows your speed and a few other things which is nice and it does have IC so let's press left oh and let's kind of see what we can do looks like you could pretty much turn on the lights on this display that looks pretty cool you could turn on hazard lights you could do cruise control really do like that one a lot we'll disable that you could do the turn signal right from here I really do like that one a lot and let actually no that's for cruise control you could roll down your window that's a very cool thing and no that's actually to walk, lock your mirrors I really do like that you can actually adjust your mirrors to see exactly how you want them to go that's a pretty cool feature and then over here let's take a look at this one so this one is you guys can see the mirrors are moving that is awesome the window also goes down we'll kind of come over here you guys can see this is to turn it off uh, this one is turn radio on uh, previous radio station next uh, Working lights in the rear, that's pretty cool. Really do like all these different options. Cab light, that is awesome for driving at night. Wheel coupling for, that's in the back. And then over here is for the right window. You guys can put down the window, put up the armrest. I really do like this truck. I mean, this is awesome. So we'll be taking this for spin, seeing how this handles. And I really do like all that detail on it. Now for a cab over, it should pretty much have a little bit of body roll. But this mod is awesome. Pretty much none. And the turning radius of this cab over is also very nice now for these mod reviews we are here on the platinum dlc map it's great up next we'll be taking a look at a case 1150 and this is for forestry and i mean this thing looks pretty cool it does have a winch here in the back which you could kind of take and attach to logs and pull them which is pretty cool awesome job on the tracks and now this blade does kind of rotate does a few different things so once we hop on the inside you guys can see eight miles per hour top speed it does have working lights in the front and in the back you guys can see awesome job there and there's a few other things you could do you could turn it on and uh, overall on the inside you guys can see there's there's a lot of protection there very nicely done with the detailed on the inside also but you guys can see the blade does go up and down so you could pretty much use this for more than just forestry which is awesome and you guys can see so many different things uh, you could adjust that and uh, that looks pretty cool but overall I mean awesome kind of dozer I might look into using this for some construction but definitely going to be using this for the forestry company and the final mod we'll be taking a look at today is a snow plow blade for the skid steer I mean this one looks pretty cool random MFG uh, that looks awesome now this does have the option for those lights I did add that now it is also color changeable but overall that looks pretty cool once you hop on the inside of the skids here you guys can see when you do turn the lights on there's extra lights there I mean that's a very cool feature never really seen a snow uh, pusher blade with one but overall that is pretty cool all of the links will be down below in the description thanks for watching have a great day and subscribe for more